Here is a sobering summer statistic. Drownings have been on the rise for the last few years. CBS 2's Carolyn Gussoff with some important pool safety information every parent should know. Summer's making a splash with hot days and sunny skies, and safety's on the mind of parents here at Wantaw Park Pool. My eyes are always glued on him, especially by the pool, because you can never be too safe. Be scared. Okay, because because it can happen in, in a heartbeat. Supermarket giant Stu Leonard preaches pool safety after his own toddler drowned 35 years ago. His top message for saving lives, waterproof your little one. You want to get them acclimated to the water. The second thing is to teach them to roll over on their back so that they can float like this. If for some reason they get in the pool uh, without supervision, that saved their life. Nassau County officials gathered poolside to share the sobering stats. Last year, nine people drowned in Nassau County and already six this year. Thankfully, none of them died. In Suffolk County, four drownings in 2023 and five so far this year, all of them fatal. If you're going to have a pool party, hire a lifeguard or at least designate one adult to sit there and not leave that spot. Even with lifeguards present, don't assume you can look away. We try to remind them that uh, watching their children, they're the first defense, and then the lifeguards come in as the second defense. So even though we're always in the stand, you can't take that for granted. The color of your child's bathing suit can save their life. The water safety group Alive Solutions demonstrated that blue, white, and dark colors get lost in a pool. Choose bright and neon colors. We did bright colors so they don't blend in with the water. Red today. Um, we have some green. We have a bright orange. Pool safety is not only about protecting children. 40 million adults in this country don't know how to swim. The experts say no one should ever swim alone. In Wanta, Long Island, Carolyn Gussoff, CBS 2 News. And the Nassau County Aquatic Center offers swim lessons, as does the Stu Leonard Foundation.